Hey guys, um, as I'm sure many, many, many of you know, uh, Path of Fire was announced today. Hype, 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 hype. Super excited about the new expansion, guys. Um, and if you're anything like me, you totally want to buy the expansion or pre-order the expansion, so of course I did. And I wanted to give you guys an insight of what came with the pre-order, which of course you can read what comes with it, but I wanted to show you guys. So I actually pre-ordered mine through game. Uh, right after the announcement was made, there was a little pop-up right here where you see this, um, the diamond showing, and you click on it, more info, and it'll bring you to a screen that gives you the three different options uh, that you can purchase. I bought the Ultimate Edition because um, <laughs> I'm a nerd and absolutely love Guild Wars and super excited for it, and honestly, I feel like it's pretty good bang for your buck. Um, the difference between the Ultimate Edition and the one right below that, I, can't, I wasn't really sure what it was called, is about $20 and you get 4,000 gems, which is much more than a $20 difference. So to me, it was totally worth it. Uh, so yeah, I purchased the Ultimate Edition, and I got a Spear Marshall's Gift. And I also got, of course, the Mini Rogue Balthazar. Excited about that. Um, the 4,000 gems oops, will come with about 72 hours, from, is what a reading that said. I would say it would probably be coming closer to the 72-hour mark. Uh, rather that sooner than that because the influx of people who are trying to pre-order of course the new expansion so be patient with ANET they're really good about these things and they're really really um, kind and for their players so so be patient and look forward to that all right so the next item I got is uh, well three items really I got the invitation to the Lily of Elion which seems like a um, one of those passages you can get go to go to Divinity's Reach, and then of course there's all these things that you can do there. Um, you get a Sun Spear outfit and an Identity Repair Kit. Hmm. I guess the difference between the Total Makeover and the Identity Repair Kit is just you can change your name if you choose to do so, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't think I'll personally be changing my name because I've stuck with it ever since I've been playing, but it's cool that they give you that option. Uh, what it does say here in red is these items can only be obtained by one character, so please be sure to delete, not to delete the character that receives them. So, make sure you're accepting this on the character you want to use these items on, otherwise you won't be able to get the, I guess get it back if you're to delete the character. So, forewarning guys, uh, heads up about that. From what I did see as well is that there are new hairstyles, some alone in hairstyles, to, um, that are going to be coming as well, so I want to check those out. They looked really neat from what I saw in the trailer for the expansion. Hmm. I don't see the new styles. Oh, here we go. Hairstyles. Let's see if the new ones are in here yet. Oh, here they are. So some of these styles that are going to be uh, released with the, ooh, I really like that, with Alona. Well, these are Alona hairstyles, they won't be released with Alona. I really, really like that, that's really cool. I like that they gave more of an ethnic African look to these because of course, Alona, and, Alona people or people from Alona descent um, do resemble African heritage, which I think is really, really cool. Something that Anet hasn't really had a lot of in previous, you know, hairstyles, which is awesome to me. I think giving that diversity will really be a plus to a lot of players. I think a lot of players will really enjoy it. That's cool. Looks like a hair accessory is there. Yep. Nice. That's really cool. I'm always a fan of twin buns. I think those are super cute. Super, super cute. Ooh, and a fishtail braids.
so many papers to file. It's a busy job. That's really neat. I'm a really big fan of a lot of these new hairstyles. I, I like them quite a bit. But I think my favorite is the is this one, hands down. I like it so much. Ooh, that's really pretty actually. The color on that. So of course you get this new uh, total makeover kit, which you can change your your hair, your height, your skin tone, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, with the pre-order bonus. You also get the name change contract a sun spear outfit so let's preview that and take a look into it Ooh, oops here we are i think this will look really nice dyed i like the look of it it's a little different on my mesmer i'm not sure how i feel totally about it on this character per se but i think it would look good on of course like a heavy class The invitation to Lily of the Lily of Elion. So of course you get these bonuses once you, or once we are in the Crystal Desert. So we'll have it in the Crystal Oasis. We'll be able to have crafting stations, bank and guild bank access, Mystic Forge, and merchants. From what I understood from uh, watching the expansion trailer as well as some of the pre and post show, um, there isn't going to be any major city in the crystal desert and there won't be these types of things so buying it through the pre-order will be the main access if you intend to be of course and in, in the crystal desert often you're going to want to be able to do these things there so without this um, you'll have to travel back and forth to either major cities or um, mines arch so i think that's pretty cool that they gave this with the pre-order bonus mini rogue balthazar i am i am really excited i love this a lot um, I have been so into the lore with the whole Living Story 3 coming, leading up to this expansion, and I of course think this is a really, really nice touch to give out for a pre-order bonus. I mean, why not, right? And the Spear Marshal's Gift. A gift from an unknown friend across the seas, in hopes that you will be able to, in hopes that you will be a useful ally. Hmm. weapon only okay not too flashy I was wondering if these would be like really pretty with a lot of after effects and stuff like that but it looks like they're just a little, a little more plain than what I was anticipating which is nothing wrong with that but it didn't quite it's not living quite up to the hopes of what I thought it would be Ooh, I like that a lot a lot, a lot. I like the sun theme. It looks like a sun on a lot of these, these items, or excuse me, these skins. Of course, we are going to a desert. It's going to be hot and sunny, right, so why not, business. right? Why not? Hmm. That's very interesting. The wall shield. I like that. Ooh, I think that's actually my favorite. The sword. Ugh, the struggle. Ooh, is that a torch? I don't know. It is a torch. I I think that's super clever. I like this a lot. It's very, very, very clever to have a <laughs> to have a little light on it. That's cool. The horn is quite nice as well, actually. But I think my favorite uh, by far is probably the cutlass. I think I'm gonna go with the set, the sword. Ugh. I really like. I really like the torch as well, but I think I'm gonna do the sword. Yes, I think I think we shall. Sword, it is. All right, guys. I believe we also got a 
a new title. Elonian Envoy. Here we are. Yes. So when you pre-order, you also get a new title called Elonian Envoy, which I think is pretty neat uh, to show your support for the, for the new expansion. So I'm going to be repping it with pride. Um, but yeah, let's see. We also get a level 80 boost, which comes with the expansion, or excuse me, with pre-ordering the expansion. Um, it looks like there's quite a few other things as well. If you, Yep, here we are. So it says, using this on a character that already is level 80 will grant you this package of endgame rewards. So, you'll get level 80 waypoints unlocked, 5 teleport to a friend, 2 gold, a celebratory die pack, normal die pack, celebration boosters, oh, and there's more, 4 leather bags, 25 mango pies, 25 superior sharpening stones, a mystic salvage kit, and a set of ori calcum um, gathering utensils, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, this is... This looks like everything that you were going to be getting with the new with the new expansion for pre-order. Of course, this is the ultimate edition. There's a few less things if you get the, the lesser packages. Um, but guys, I think the ultimate edition in and of itself with the 4,000 gems, it's a really, really good deal. Um, 4,000 gems is about $50 if I am remembering correctly. Let's see. Yeah, 4,000 gems is 50 bucks. So for 70, $75, $80, we're getting the entire pre-package bonus plus everything I showed you before. It's a really, really good deal, guys. If you're as excited right, for the new expansion as I am, business. you're going to want to get the Ultimate Edition. No pressure for any of you that you know are leaning towards um, buying the lesser packages because I think in and of itself, the new expansion is going to be great to play even without all this um, you know, extra fluffy stuff to go with it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, if you want to see specific content regarding the new updates and the new expansion, comment below. Let me know what you think, guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.